So the other day I opened my Incident Commander app on a different computer and it completely broke, nothing loaded. And after digging into the issue, what I discovered was that the time zone portion of the JavaScript date to time string method did not always report the time string as an abbreviation. So my parsing algorithm was expecting Eastern Daylight Time to be presented as EDT but it was coming through as the full string Eastern Daylight Time. And unfortunately, that was breaking. So uh, because I was using regular expression patterns to parse this, and I think regular expression patterns are always worth celebrating, uh, I figured I would just share this in case anyone else uh, didn't know that, that that kind of variation existed in the time string. Um, so to update the Incident Commander app, which of course is very specific to my use case, I had to take this longer string and normalize it down into an abbreviation because the UI was expecting an abbreviation and didn't really work otherwise. So to do that, I, uh, I look for the bits that are wrapped in parentheses, um, and you'll see I have a second set of parentheses inside, and that's for capturing, so I'm going to capture the value inside of the parentheses, regardless of whether or not it is an abbreviation or a longer value. I then take that captured group, which is now the raw time string value, and I check to see if that captured group contains a non-word character. So this is a regular expression pattern that represents anything that is not a word character. And if it does, what I need to do is now extract that longer value, or take that longer value and extract the individual letters that I want to turn into the uh, abbreviation and then collapse the whole thing down. So I take that longer value, I'm looking now for any word character that comes after a word boundary. So a word boundary in a regular expression is, say, the beginning of a string here before the E, or uh, right before the T, or right before the A. Right? These are all word boundaries in this, in this phrase here. So I'm going to grab each of those individual letters, then I'm going to collapse that array of characters down into a single string, and then I'm just going to uppercase it for safety, and then we'll just output it. And just so you can see that there is some variety here, I'm going to output my actual browsers new date to time string so you can see what it is on this computer which is the computer that broke the incident commander so if we go over here um, and first let's use the short version and you can see that uh, i'm hard coding the value here to have edt and in this case i'm just extracting the edt from the parentheses and outputting it there's nothing really uh, interesting going on and of course here's my browser's actual value which you can see actually contains eastern daylight time now if we switch over to the long version you can see that again I'm hard coding this time string to contain the full phrase Eastern Daylight Time, in which case I'm entering that, uh, that if statement here where I do have non-word characters inside that extracted value. So in this case I need to grab the first letter of each word boundary and I'm going to collapse that down into that normalized abbreviation. So in this case, uh, whether I'm using the short version or the long version, I'm always ending up with that normalized EDT, that three letter, uh, or it doesn't have to be three letters, but that normalized word boundary oriented abbreviation. Um, and again, just a, uh, just a reminder here that the time zone is not a specified format, right? If you look in the uh, Mozilla Developer Network for the date um, object, you can see that it has a time zone, but it says that the time zone may vary, so there is no specification about what this will be, and it's probably driven by something in my browser settings or something in my you know date and time settings on the computer. I'm not really sure. What's interesting, and this is really just an aside, and actually, I apologize, I wasn't really set up to do this, um, but if I jump over here, and I jump over into Node, and I do console log new date to time string, in node, it actually uses EDT. So whatever value determines this is obviously different from node versus my browser, which is, right, if we do the same thing here, right, which is using Eastern Daylight Time. So I don't know where this configuration is coming from. In retrospect, I don't even know how I would have tested for it because I didn't know it existed and it worked in all the browsers very consistently. So I actually would have had to test across different computers. Um, but uh, again, now it's just something that I can know for the future and uh, know that this time zone value is a little bit more, uh, uh, has a little bit more variety than maybe I would have expected to, which makes sense again for a, for a formatting value that isn't specified in the uh, JavaScript documentation to begin with.